It's so good to have you join me today. I am Pastor Max Dukeson from the Victory Church in Carrollton, Texas. And it is a joy to come and to bring you the Word of God that I believe will encourage you and strengthen you today. And so I'd just like to take a moment to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to minister to your need today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to come to the homes of those that are viewing today at this moment, at this hour. And I pray, Lord, that you will meet every need as we put our faith and trust in you. You know, today I believe what is missing in the world today, what's missing in a lot of our families and in the situations that we are dealing with in this, this pandemic uh, virus that we are fighting is that word hope. I want to tell you, hope is there. There's a wonderful scripture. Because see, I believe that it is God that gives us hope. But there's a wonderful promise that's found in Jeremiah 29, and many of you are familiar with it. The Word of God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You see, God gives us that promise. He says that I want to bless you, he says. I have wonderful plans if you would put your faith and trust in me. The psalmist in Psalms 33, 20 says this, We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, the Apostle Paul put it this way, And now the three, these three remain faith, hope, and love. The Torah contains about 100 names for God, and each of these names uh, speak of a different aspect of God's character. He is called El Shaddai, God Almighty. He is called Adonai, which is translated Lord. He's your Lord today. Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides. I want to tell you, if you have a need today, God is Jehovah Jireh. He's the God who provides. Other names include Yahweh Rapha or Rohi. And that means translated the God our healer or the God who heals or Yahweh who heals. If you have a physical need today, I can tell you that God is Jehovah Rapha. He can heal there's another word that name that I, I want to focus on, and that is Yahweh Tava. And that is so important because it means the Lord, our hope. I want to tell you, the Lord is your hope today. Amen. The Apostle Paul in uh, Acts chapter 28, verse uh, 20, the Apostle refers to Yeshua, which translated in the Hebrew is Jesus as the hope of Israel. You see, he is more than the hope for Israel. He is the hope for all humanity. He is the hope for America today and the whole world, church. The future of everyone and everything on this planet in which we live depends on Jehovah God today. He is our hope. Amen. You know, Israel's anthem, anthem uh, is entitled Ha Tava, and it means the hope. Israel, a land that is surrounded by enemies that desire to destroy her, but yet the Jewish people continue to have hope in God. They hold on to King David's famous words, and I want to read you this verse today in Psalms 23, verses uh, 4 through 5, and this is the NIV translation. David says this, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. In other words, he's not going to fear the powers of darkness. And I can tell you, they are the powers of darkness that are surrounding us even today. But we can cry out as David cried out, even though I walk through the valley and all these things are coming against me, I will fear no evil for you are with me. And this is beautiful here. He says, your rod and your staff they comfort me. We're going to come back to that. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. How many of you have, feel like you have enemies that are surrounding you today? And enemies, it can be financial stress. It can be emotional stress. A lot of things. You anoint my head with all. My cup overflows. He says, your rod and your staff, David says, they comfort me. In other words, the ideal position for the lamb, we are the lamb, is to allow the shepherd to fight for us. That rod and that staff is constantly beating back 
the darkness, beating back the, the, the enemies that will come against you, the spiritual powers that be. And then he says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In other words, these enemies cannot touch that prepared table that God has that you can come and you can sit and you can be protected and receive your strength in the Lord today. And then he says, you anoint my head with all. The Holy Spirit is there to lift you up and to encourage you. And then he says, my cup overflows. There is an abundance, church. And so I want to encourage you today. If you are discouraged today and you are hurting, go to Psalms 23, 4 and 5. You know, many times we read this for uh, funerals, but I can tell you, it's not a funeral verse, amen? It is speaking to you and it is speaking to me today. And I just want to take this moment to pray with you that the Lord, if you are discouraged, remember He is holding His staff, amen, and His rod, and He is fighting back your enemies if you will put your faith and trust in Him. And He will not only bless you, but He says He will overflow you with the blessings in abundance, amen? And the Holy Spirit is here to touch you where you are. Father, I pray now that whoever's here in my voice right at this moment, that your Holy Spirit will speak deliverance to them. If they are, feel like they are just cornered in, Lord, that the enemy is just beating them down, that they will not have to accept that, but they will know that there is a power beyond theirs that they can put their faith and their trust in you and that you will direct and guide their paths and see them to victory. I ask it in Jesus' name. I thank you for joining me for these few minutes. Let me encourage you, if you'd like to contact me, just contact me at Pastor Max at thevictoryplace.org, and we'd love to hear from you, and we pray that this has been a blessing to you. God bless you.